first video of 2022. And yes, I still have the tree here. Jay likes it, right, Jay? Yep. And yeah, wait. wait. Guys, get over here. We're, we're starting a new video of 2022. We're opening new Pokemon cards. Let's get going. Yes, and we have a new member here. Mr. Jason Derulo. Yes, and Mr. Derulo, what is this new set that we're going to be opening? Thank you. Yes, it is Starbirth. And who's the new Pokemon featured? Anyone? Yes, Adam Sandler. Thank you. It is Arceus or Arceus, however you want to say it. And who's that Chase Waifu? It is indeed Cynthia. We have a lot of beautiful full art trainers. Also, Roseanne from Diamond and Pearl. What else is new about Starbirth? We have this new game mechanic called V-Star, very similar to the GX mechanic from the Sun and Moon era. Basically, you can use only one V-Star move throughout the whole game. And no, this doesn't mean you can use that same V-Star move multiple times for one Pokemon. It's literally just one and done, so remember that. And what else is coming through in this new set, Starbirth? Beautiful alt arts, stuck between chasing after the Luminion and also the Arceus. They're absolutely gorgeous. I don't care about the Craig. We have enough of those in the TCG. We also have, of course, the Fuller Trainers and also the gold cards. I'm definitely after the gold Arceus. Absolutely beautiful and also super playable. And before we get started with the opening, I do want to make a big thank you and also shout out to Yo Yakunao, the sponsor of this video. If you want your own booster box of Starbirth, you can check out the link in the description below they also supply a ton of other pokemon trading card products and also anime figurines so again link in the description below and while we're here be sure to not hit the like button and also not that subscribe button you guys don't subscribe anyway i mean these are my actual stats here however however if you do feel like hitting a like button or a subscribe button be sure to check out Okay, Jay loves YouTube channel. He does actually make really good Pokemon content. Okay, first opening of 2022. Thank you guys for making it this far, whether you're, you know, watching from your mom's basement or you're not paying rent or if you're just sitting on the toilet, whatever you got going on. I'm excited to open this and I'm not trying to blind you guys either. We have beautiful Arceus, Arceus coming straight at us from space. Let's get this open. I'm really excited to see these new V-Star cards. Apparently they're textured and I believe you get like two of them per booster box very similar to a VMAX card so let's get going oh my gosh and also we got our beautiful Yurito sleeves on the side from Jay nice little gift and they match my scissors you like them Jay even though you got them from me they're, they're all right <laughs> not my favorite sleeves but like they'll the do he, he, he prefers it to be Gengar or Zero of course or Gengar's what? my favorite you know what I mean it's okay. I love them anyway. It's, I just like how they're all stacked. Literally Pichu, Pikachu, Raichu. Just, there's even plushies to them if you didn't know. But anyway, back on Starbirth. Typical card trick, one to the front. Miss how smooth these Japanese cards are. Oh my gosh, we got Claydol. We got Clink. Oh, Bidoof. Oh, so cute with Barry in the back as well. Such diamond and, diamond and pearl vibes. Oh, I thought that was a V-Star for a second. We have our holographic Bibarel. I was going to say Bidoof, but it's bigger Bidoof. Bibarel. The beaver Pokemon. Really nice hollow foil. Now it's like super shimmery again because if i recall correctly the vmax climax hollow foil was a little bit matte finishy or not really finishy just more like the shimmer wasn't as on point as the other hollows are okay we got tornadas we got turtwig ah yeah, starter so cute we have clefairy with the psychic type thing oh gabite i'm excited for the garchomp holographic oh we have lovely lapras very beautiful artwork so no hollow there no V-Star yet either. I'm excited for our guaranteed secret or should be guaranteed secret rare this time. Um, I've definitely seen some double stack boxes as well. Not saying that's going to happen, but if we're lucky enough for, to see that, that'd be amazing. Of Sharon, we have Clink again, Mincino, we have no spot. Oh, we got Craig. We got Lizardon, Lizardon. Very nice V card. Very, very new artwork. And not by five band graphics, by N Design. I haven't heard of that before. Okay, do not hit that like button, guys. It's Craig. Yeah, don't hit the like button. <laughs> don't hit the Don't button. even think about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm having fun with this new thing going on. Um, Is it new, though? Is it really? Is it, is it new? Not really. It's not like you guys like the video. Anyway, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Some of you do, some of you don't. This, for some people, I'm not kidding. Anyway, we have. Oh, look at that intense look. Monk. I would not want to be near that one. Ooh, we have Weasel. It looks like it's in some sort of like, oh, it's that location in Diamond of Pearl near um, Sunny Shore. The one, that little city, that little route. Really cute. Bef near the lake. All right. And we have this little moth. Really, really cute. Love the refreshing new artwork of this set. All right. Lots of Diamond and Pearl or Sinnoh Pokemon, of course. Very excited to see any Arceus cards in particular. Very playable. Just like the Charizards. Also, these cards were like literally in transit outside all day, so they all feel cold. <laughs> like ice cold cards. The booster box was Shush. pretty cold as well. I would not want to be in that box. Oh, we got some water. Fresh water. Straight from the vending machine. Recovers 60 HP, I believe. 
or oh no, 50 HP. I'm, I'm thinking soda pop. And then we have lemonade. All right, one to the front here. Let's see what else we can get. Staraptor, very nice. If, did you guys see that new Bidoof animation? It was so cute. There was also a Staraptor in it, a very aggressive one indeed. We have Electabuzz. Oh, and Lucario. Oh, look at that aggressive Aura Sphere. Again, I really miss these like super shiny hollow cards. Very lovely by Ghidorah. Oh, one of the new artists from VMAX Climax. There we go. We're starting to see new artworks by these new artists. Which uh, V-Star right. are we looking for, by the way? Oh, the V-Star. Definitely Arceus. Okay. Over over the Craig. I'm actually also would like to pull the Shaman. That would be really cute. That also did not make sense. The Shaman or the Arceus would be my top two. Craig would be cool as well. Whimsicott's my least favorite. <laughs> so we have. You don't care about that. I right? don't like fairy type Pokemon as much. Oh, we have Torterra. Okay, cool. Ooh, this is really really nice. Nice Torterra holographic. I like the sketchy um like the sketches there. Uh, what's it called by Oswaldo Cato? It just looks very artsy, and it also matches the hollow foil in a way because it looks like straight lines. All right, next up. Yeah, I'm not too big a fan of fairy type Pokemon. I'm very into dragon type and water type Pokemon, if you guys had to know. Wormadam, the ground type, or the ground flavor. I was going to say flavor. <laughs> oh, this Magmar artwork, uh, artwork is so, so nice. Shinji Kanda, if I'm reading that correctly. The detailing on this, and it's also a nice tribute to winter time. Oh, and some play. Oh, it looks like a ruin stadium really cool artwork there all right no pull there so far one craig that's not too bad definitely want to see some arceus cards it's been a while since arceus literally the god pokemon or the creator of the universe has gotten some sort of spotlight the last time we saw that was for tag team but you know sharing the spotlight with dialga and palkio from the tag team cards all right we got tropius you guys play Diamond and Pearl, you always see Tropius is like gliding in those little rooms in the grand underground. <laughs> it's just funny how this massive dinosaur with like these leaves is just floating in the air, like not even flapping the wings. <laughs> it's just magically levitating. Ah, oh, we have Manaphy! Super, super cute. We have Throw, and then there's a other one is Sock, Corefish, Chimecho, oh, and Dust Maw. Look at that intense, I don't know, Shadow Ball. Very, very lovely artwork. I remember, I think similar artists made something for Chandelure and I think Giratina. I can just tell by the little like flares, the shadow flares. Really cool. Not even halfway yet. Oh, yeah, and this is also S9, so set number nine, if you guys didn't know. If you want to know the differences between this and the Chinese version, the Chinese version is going to have the letter F. This one doesn't even have a letter. Luxio. Oh, so cute. My Eliza's cat's name is Luxio. If you didn't know, shout out to my friend Eliza. And we have Empoleon. Ooh, the, of course, my starter evolution. Very, very lovely holographic. So Empoleon, Torterra, and hopefully Infernape too will get a hollow. I don't remember if Infernape is in this one. All right, let's get on to the next pack here. Let's throw this pack away. One to the front. Alrighty, another one, madame. Ooh, is this by Yukimori? Yes, it is. I didn't even have to look at the name. It's because it's claymation. So we have Sock. Very nice uh, detailing on that as well. Shinji Kanda. We have Duskull. Again, I'm really excited to see the new artist. We have Burmy. Oh, and there's a gold card for this one. Really good for any Craig decks. It's a fire type, um, I think, stadium or, you know, one of those supporter tra trainer cards. You should actually maybe uh, explain why you call Charizard Craig. Oh, okay. For anyone who is like just joining I feel the like channel, there's a lot of people who, just, especially because <laughs> people don't subscribe anyway, like it, you say. That's true. So you so, should maybe explain that. So I have this, um, <laughs> I have this Gigantamax uh, Charizard plushie somewhere in the background there, and I just had this Instagram live way back when I started. Okay, I'll continue this conversation. I'm very happy right now. We pulled my, my Chase Trainer, the waifu Cynthia herself. Oh my gosh, on the first box. And look at that centric. And you know what too? I don't see any print lines. Don't, 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 don't hit that like button. And also put away your waifu cards. We have to appreciate this one specifically because this is the waifu I swoon for. Ooh, that shines, Cynthia. I'm so happy right now. Okay, let me get my sleeves. Yeah, the waifu collectors are breathing heavy on the keyboards <laughs> right now, man. I'm breathing heavy and I'm a female. They're breathing heavy. <laughs> Alrighty, really, really happy. On, on the right side, Team Right did well today. Anyway, back on the conversation of why I call Charizard Craig. Craig. So, um, basically, I think Jay's gonna bring this out. Okay, one second. So here's my little, char it's not even little, it's my massive Charizard plushie. So again, during an Instagram live, Jay and I were just playing around with the plushie and just talking to people and we're like, you know what? This plushie looks like a Craig. We're just randomly naming Pokemon, like how we call Crobat Phil. So we just decided to call Charizard Crobat Craig. Crobat definitely looks like a Phil. And it just stuck. Everyone agreed with us. Like, oh, Charizard does look like a Craig. We're like, okay, we're just going to keep it. And then we just called everyone the Craig squad. We'll still like keep that here 
in there, but I just like calling it cranky. Like, that's not going to stop. I'm just, I'm honestly so sick and tired of people saying, Zard, Zard, oh my god, it's Zard, can you pull the Zard? Like, guys, it's, it's annoying. Just, no, <laughs> I'm just going to keep like, it cranky. <laughs> It's a little much, but yeah. Anyway, obnoxious. anyway, great secret rare pull. Where, <laughs> where on earth are the V stars? Wait, I, mean, I just noticed we haven't even pulled one V star yet. Let's keep going. Okay, oh, just grass on grass. Grodal Entropius. All right, so team left. I guess team left is gonna have hey, all least, the V stars. This is a secret rare, right? You got your chase card. I'm, right? I'm happy. I will not complain for the first box <laughs> having one of my chases. Also, possibility of having a second uh, SR. So let's keep going here. I guess this is the part where we should actually thank the yes. sponsor. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so thank you, Yoyakino, for consistently giving me good luck. It has happened. If you guys haven't seen my other videos sponsored by Yoyakino, check those out. And also check out their website. We got Professor's Research with Professor Rowan. I like how they keep it themed. It's the same card, essentially. Just, you know, get the new seven cards for, 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 for your hand. <laughs> get rid of your other cards in your hand. All right. Let's keep going. What else can we pull? I need to see these V stars. Like I love secret rares, especially full art trainers. But I'm so excited to see what these new V stars look like. All right. Oh my gosh. I'm like building up tension here. We have Roseanne. Roseanne. You didn't get a V star yet. Not yet. Don't tell me I'm just gonna get one from this booster box when there's four of them. Okay. I'm trying I mean, also it's not to. Pretty good box right now. I can't really complain. Uh, true. True. Usually when I start off with Japanese booster boxes, like my first few boxes don't end up being very good at all. So this is a nice little change up. All right. We got Heat Run. Wow. Heat Run is actually a steel type. Of course, it's steel fire dual type, but usually it's featured as a fire type. So that's pretty cool and also not hollow. Very interesting, despite it's a legendary Pokemon. We have Cla oh, okay, okay, not my favorite, but we got our first V Star. Oh, look at that! That nice shimmer. I guess this makes up for the Cynthia, right? But yeah, it's textured. I actually like the blue background with the purple. I'm just, I wonder what V Star means. What it has like the the powers of Arceus or something. But all I know is that the power, the V Star powers are. The moves are really, really OP, hence why you can only use it once per game. But check that out. Here's some extra footage of this shine. And I will definitely sleeve these up. Of course, these are going to be pretty common to pull, kind of like the uh, V Maxes. So, of course, they're not going to be worth that much, but I think they're so pretty and definitely very collectible. And if you're like, making a deck of them, you're going to need four of them if you want to really max out on that. So, let's keep going. And now I'm keen for the second V Star. Hopefully, we'll get that. I wonder if you can pull three V Stars, because sometimes I've seen three. V Maxes. Oh, we got Haunch Crow. Very cute alt art in this set as well. My hands cannot e even find the sleeves, but very nice artwork as well for the V card. So, okay, next. I think the Haunch Crow alt art has like, it's like next to these little Murkrows. They look so fluffy and comfy. All right. Again, beautiful art in this set, and these cards still feel cold, surprisingly. Tornadas, we have Magmar, Spiritomb, Mincino, oh, and Weavo. When I expect there to be something shiny, it's just like a regular card in the back, but still really nice. Again, I'm noticing like a consistent typing. Sometimes packs have a lot of steel type Pokemon or a lot of dark type Pokemon. It's really interesting. We got double energy, colorless energy, got Dusk, oh, Pimprop, oh, this is so cute in the snow. It's so fitting because it's snowing so much in the States right now. We have throw oh when you have we have cling clang that is a very intense cling clang with like some sort of city in the background again so happy to see lots of new artists thriving in the tcg okay let's keep going still looking for the next v star it can't it has to be something i want because i definitely want either the shaman the arceus or the charizard so, or the craig all right prin plup everything's on ice really interesting ryulu <gasps> moltres yes we have a, a legendary birds the og legendary birds no more galarian legendary birds very very nice holographic right there all right, too bad they don't have Zapdos or Articuno. They just have Moltres. But of course, because there's going to be a lot of um, useful trainer cards for Fire-type Pokemon, so it is what it is, right? We got another Staraptor. We got a Chime Cho. Some people say Chimico. Very interesting pronunciation. And we have, oh, Shaman. Very, very cute. The last time we've seen Shaman being super useful was from Roaring Skies or Emerald Break, if, if, that, if that's the right set in Japanese. But um, really cool to see it come back again, especially for something new like V-Star. And don't forget too, we even have more V-Stars coming our way, the Glaceon and the Leafeon boxes later this month. So that'll be fun as well. Okay, we got a belt, we got a Pachirisu, a Sigalif, Shroomish with the Wulu in the background by Nigishi, very nice. And Lapras, another again. 
pretty good card to play with, I believe, from what I remember. Okay, and we just have a few more packs left, but let's see if we can pull one more V-Star. We're definitely getting a bunch of V-Cards. But again, I will not complain because this box definitely proved its worth with the lovely Cynthia. Oh my gosh. She's definitely getting a lot of appreciation and I'm living for it. So I think at this point she has, what, like three card, three of Full Art Trainers now? All right, let's keep going here. All right, let's see what's in this next pack. We got Electa, oh, this Electivar. I think I already opened this before, but I was probably talking about something else, but I want to appreciate this beautiful artwork of Electivar and also Magmortar. So cool, by Akira Ekawa, wow. I'm used to seeing her artwork on like VMAX cards, etc. Oh, we do have Infernape, there we go. So we got all the evolution starters for the Sinnoh region. Very, very nice, okay. And we have, I think, three, no, four more packs left. I'm counting it right this time. They're not hiding. If anything, the sleeves are hiding now under all the snippets. Uh, let's keep going. One to the front. We got more fresh water. We got tur twig. Gable. Again, I like how the dragon types have the slashes. It makes them feel extra special. Monferno and Manaphy. Okay, I, I, I swear this, <laughs> this last V-Star must be in one of these three packs. I just want to see another one. That's not Whimsicott. Let's keep going. It's cute, but I like the more cool, aggressive looking Pokemon. I saw something a little sparkly in the back. Let's see. We have Golette, Cub Chew, and oh, it's a Raichu. Still really cool. Raichu hasn't gotten spotlight for a very long time. It's been so much Pikachu after Pikachu. And good thing I have my Yurito sleeves because they match so well. Look at that. Don't hit the light button, by the way. <laughs> Remember, guys, control yourselves. Yeah, don't hit it. <laughs> All right, two more packs, guys. If if there's only one V star, then I'll then I stand corrected. But let's see. Let's keep going. One to the front. Alrighty. We have Muck. Okay, we definitely have something in the back. It looks green and looks shiny. It's probably a shaman. Oh, it's a Craig. Oh, look at that. <laughs> there you go. Okay, not too bad. Um, we'll definitely look for the Arceus that in the future. Nice but that's a nice looking that Craig. Nice that ball. texturing, of course, it's literally a mirrored version of the Burning Shadows Craig or the Charizard. But at least the background is pretty cool. Contrast well with the orange and it's super textured, even the border. So there we go. Again, don't hit that like button. I'm watching you right now. <laughs> Let's put that in his sleeve. All right, there you go. So there's our two V Star cards. One more pack, just, you know, for the video. And again, big thank you to Yoyaka now for sponsoring this. Again, if you want your own booster box of Starbirth, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Chimchar with the fruit, core fish, and Sharon to end the pack. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. This was definitely really fun. Very happy with the polls. But again, again, just to repeat myself, do not hit that like button and do not subscribe. If you want to really subscribe to somebody, again, sub to JLove. So there you have it. Stay safe and we'll see you in the next one.